Hi, my name is Rick Sanchez. I'm with a company called Tractor Tip Equipment, and what we have for sale here today is a Doosan DL300. These decals are bleached out. I don't know if you can see that, but it's so hot here in Texas that uh, it just bleaches them out. This machine's never been painted, so it's original paint, original decals. The serial number of this machine is DWGCWLAHAC, and then the actual serial number is 101020. I'm going to leave that last digit blank. We're going to talk about the mechanics of this particular machine in the first clip, the operating specs in the second, we'll run it in the third. Price on a new machine like this these days is, uh, I don't know, $250,000, $300,000. meter on this machine is 4,252 hours. Uh, this machine weighs 38,140 pounds. The widest point is the bucket at 9 foot 6 inches. Highest point is the top of the cab at 11 foot 5 inches. The transportation length from the end of that counterweight to the front of this cutting edge is uh, 27 feet. As far as the history of this unit goes, this machine, like almost all the machines we purchase, is an original owner Dallas, Texas machine. I say that because it's got no rust. I mean, you'll see where the paint's flecked off and the rainwater's gotten to it. But this machine, in no way, shape, or form, is rust pervasive. It's, um, we're 300 miles south. I mean, we're 300 miles from the ocean and uh, we're far enough south that the only salt we see is the salt on our kitchen table. Just about every machine we purchase comes from one of about 30 different large uh, contractors or municipalities that we deal with here in the Metroplex. Uh, this particular machine came from a guy that we've been dealing with for many, many years and uh, we've been pretty happy with all the machines that we bought from him and uh, he buys from us as well. Um, it should be said that before uh, I purchase any m machine, my mechanics, Pro Provencio, the guy running the camera, they go out and they thoroughly inspect the machine. And if the money's right and everything checks out, then I go out and I inspect it before I write a check. As far as options go, this machine is an enclosed cab machine, obviously. The AC blows cold. Uh, it has auxiliary hydraulics, Pro, can you show them these auxiliary hydraulics in here? Go ahead and get them from right there. Can you get in there, Pro? Yep. That's like if you want to run a roll-off bucket or some kind of attachment. Uh, inherently, all wheel loaders are four-wheel drive. Um, does this one have a... Uh, tr uh, Transmission, remote remote transmission in the cab, it doesn't, does it? Mm. I was gonna say, you got a steering uh, remote transmission control at the joystick, but it doesn't, That's it's just, uh, it's just uh, holds your, uh, controls your bucket. Uh, there is a 12 volt outlet in the cab. Uh, this engine is a Doosan DL08. It's a 217 net horsepower or a 227 gross horsepower engine. Oh, another option is uh, it's got a hydraulic fan. So the idea is uh, you can get to the radiator. The idea with a hydraulic fan is that you can get to the radiator. You just open this, this uh, compartment up right here and you can get to the uh, all your coolers clean them out. Um, this has got an 87.2 gallon uh, fuel tank which will run you 10 to as many as 14 hours of operation depending on your application. Ice cream man is coming, ice cream man is coming. Uh, all of the fluid levels on this unit are where they should be. This machine is mechanically sound. 
There's no leaks on it. Everything works. Transmission runs through all the gears without hesitation. Uh, top speed in forward is 21 miles an hour, 15 in reverse. As you can see, these are 23.5 R25s. These are all radial tires. Um, these tires, those tires in the front here, this tire right here is, uh, these tires in the back are probably about, I don't know. I mean, all the tires are about 85, 90% except this one right here. Which I have a tire, I, I have a 23.5 R25 that I, I may switch on that, I don't know. But it would cost extra if you guys wanted me to do that. Um, this cutting edge right here, it's probably about 65%. You can see it's already been turned once. All of the hydraulics are strong. There's no cracks or welds anywhere in this work equipment. Uh, like I said, there's no leaks on this machine. It's mechanically strong. There's no kind of deflection or any kind of problem with that articulate in those two king pins right there, that articulation joint. Uh, this bucket right here is uh, it's nine foot six inches wide. It's four foot four inches deep and two foot, I'm sorry, two foot eight inches deep and four foot four inches high. This is a four yard uh, bucket. Uh, the hinge pin height, like this pin right here, like if you were loading into a dumpster, is nine and a half feet. Uh, the static tip load of this loader is uh, 32,000 pounds. So the static tip load, the lifting capacity of this loader is, a sta is its static tip load. So simply stated, the hydraulics are so powerful on this loader that the machine will actually tilt forward before the hydraulics give out. So your tip load is uh, limited by the weight opposite this fulcrum right here. What else, bro? Happy with the AC. Starts real good. Powerful machine. Bro's been using it around the yard quite a bit, so uh, I think I'm going to let him run it for the demonstration. Oh, hey, the radio works, too. Oh, radio works, and it even has a cup holder. <laughs> so uh, we're going to run it in the next clip.
that road is pretty bumpy right there, so he really can't. And he doesn't have much of a runway. I need to grease it. So this is the inside of the cab here. It's got 42.53 on the hour meter. Uh, you got a tear right here. There's your, uh, actually underneath there is that's your fuses right there. Um, and you got a little bit of a tear right here. There's your 12 volt outlet. That's 24. You don't want to plug your phone into that dude right there because. You will fry it. There's your AC, little clock. Oops. All of the gauges work. Pretty good running loader. Forgot to mention, it does have a uh, rear camera. That's my truck back there. It's back in the shop. 